Question number four. Madam Fox. Uh, tēnā koe, te mana whakawa. My question is to the Minister for Transport. Will he be committing any more resources to State Highway 35 over and above what was announced yesterday that would enable other road upgrades and not just toilets and rest stops? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, I first again acknowledge the member's uh, advocacy uh, for the region and make quite clear look, uh, as she said, there has been investment through the Tairawhiti Economic Action Plan. There's a lot we're doing in the Gisborne region, uh, whether it's passing lanes, whether it's the Motu Bridge, whether it's the rest area, as she mentions, the Horoweta Bridge, uh, the Great Rides uh, and more. Between 2015 and 2018, the National Land Transport Programme invested approximately $113 million into the East Coast's land transport network. And what I can say to the member is, given the very large capital investment coming that we've seen and that's coming through the next NLTP uh, from this government, uh, I expect there will be additional investments made both into the uh, East Coast generally and also into State Highway 35 uh, specifically. Uh, supplementary question. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Uh, can the Minister explain the correlation between the highway number 35 and the number of years? 35, that the slip south of Ruatoria has reduced the highway to one lane through a particularly windy stretch of road. The Hon. Simon Bridges. Oh, I suspect probably not. But I think what I can say to the member is, look, I totally acknowledge uh, as Minister, but also as a New Zealander, that uh, you know, we have real issues with resilience. We've seen that at Kaikoura, we've seen that at Manawatu Gorge, uh, we've seen that at Coromandel on uh, State Highway 25, and there are those issues also on the East Coast. And I think what is good news is with the very strong economy we have, we are able to invest back into these issues to make for uh, more permanent resilient solutions. And uh, as I say, I appreciate the advocacy that the uh, member makes. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Madam Fox. Given that the slip has existed for 35 years, will he agree to an investigation to find out what it would take to fix the road on State Highway 35 south of Ruatoria, and if not, why not? The Honourable Simon Rogers. Well, I'm uh, certain about that specific slip. Well, I think what we can say, though, is through the Tairawhiti Action Plan, we're developing uh, an integrated transport priority plan for the region. We're investigating uh, upgrades on State Highway 2 from Napier through Gisborne to Apodiki. We've got an investigation uh, underway into upgrades to State Highway 35 and its connecting routes, and that may well deal with the issues uh, the member makes. And there's also look, the, the things that she mentioned in the uh, primary question about rest areas, a Horoea Bridge, and the 7K link between State Highway 2 uh, and the Motu Great Ride. Question number five, Grant Robertson. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. My